Hey, Gary. Heard you were texting my girl last night. Hey. Look at me when I'm speaking to you. Or not. I really don't want to cut your Netflix series short. Because to be honest, I was pretty hyped for it. But you leave me no choice. If Henry Cavill and Jason Momoa had a baby together, well, it looked like me. Well, I'm not the only one that says I look like them. A lot of people do. All right, guys, we are here today to talk about the Netflix TV series that just dropped, The Witcher. Now, I know I usually do gaming videos on this channel, but as most of you know, The Witcher is also an amazing video game series. Now, the TV show is not based off of the video games, but it's more closely related to the books, which I do have right here. I kept procrastinating, so I didn't get a chance to read them yet, and now the Netflix series is advertised in my face, so I think I have to watch the entire series before I read the books. But the video games were great, guys. They were, they were really good games. Most people really did enjoy them. And of course, the TV show still shares in a lot of the lore and the characters, etc. I'm guessing most of you that played the Witcher video game also will be trying to watch this show. So we're going to talk about episode one and episode one only. So there's not any real spoilers, I guess you could say. I'm going to give you guys my opinion on whether I liked it or not. And if I think it set the show up for success. I'm also very curious in your guys' opinions as well. So definitely put them below. So right now it's 4.20 a.m. in the morning here because I live in the Eastern Time and it came out at midnight Pacific Time, but I'll tell you one thing, it was worth staying up for. I thoroughly enjoyed the entire episode, but the second half of the episode, in particular the last 20 minutes or so, absolutely sucks you in and I can guarantee most people will be watching episode 2. By the end, you finally get to see Geralt in a real street fight scene, and it was absolutely epic. This show is not holding back with the brutalness, which it shouldn't. The books and video games are mature content, and the show seems like it will be holding true to that. In this episode, there's also a war scene, which is fairly basic looking, but in a good way. No 300 scenes or anything like that. But when Geralt gets into the street fight, we get to see some really interesting, cool combat. I like that a lot. It gives us a good mix. We did see some magic in the show as well, and at first I almost thought it looked a little cheesy, but I came around to it, and after Geralt uses it in his last fight scene, like he is a Jedi using the Force, I quickly became excited to see more of it. Anyone who has played the video games knows that Slaying Monsters is the name of the game, and the show definitely starts us off with that. But we also get a sense of something much deeper going on here, and it starts to pull you in a little. By the end, you find yourself needing to know what's next. We kind of have two separate stories going on in this episode. One is Geralt in the town of Blaviken, and the other is about the young princess girl named Cirilla, or Ciri if you want to call her, in the city of Sintra. Geralt's story and Ciri's story both start off slow, but both come to really intense endings, which I think was well done for the first episode of the series. You are slowly being introduced to some of these characters, many of whom you're trying to figure out their importance, if any at all, and you're also just trying to understand generally what the hell this show is about. Then a bunch of the characters die and you say, damn, I kind of like that person. You find yourself starting to get emotionally invested in the show already. Some of the deaths were actually pretty sad. I don't want to give any particular names for anyone who hasn't watched episode one, but the battle that takes place in Sintra was rough, man. It got pretty intense and I'm kind of pissed off at the invading army, which is what a show is supposed to do to you. All right, let's talk about Henry Cavill as Geralt now. I saw on the internet some people were bashing the idea of having him play Geralt. And all I can say is what the hell are you smoking? Henry Cavill was perfect for this role. And of course, that's my opinion, but this is also my video, so I'm going to make my opinion strong. Anyone who knows Geralt from the books or video games knows that Geralt is a damn good looking guy. He's also extremely fit. Now, who's the best looking extremely fit guy you can possibly think of? Hmm. I don't know, maybe Superman? Henry Cavill not only fits Geralt's looks, you can also tell he fits the character. I think he did an excellent job in this episode, and it becomes more noticeable as the episode comes to an end. If you are completely new to The Witcher, then yes, this is how Geralt talks. Listening to Henry Cavill's interviews about the show, you can tell he is super passionate about this role, and he claims to also have read the books and played the video games multiple times. 
In one interview, he even throws out the name Warcraft. I'm not sure if he meant World of Warcraft or what. But guys, this is awesome. Video games and fantasy stuff is still kind of looked at as things that losers do. Now, of course, times are changing, but still, what better guy to have say that he loves this stuff than Henry Cavill? If Henry Cavill, one of the world's best-looking successful men, says he loves video games and fantasy stories, it's only going to help the genre out that we all love. Now let's talk about Ciri, the princess from Sintra. Her actress Freya Allen did an excellent job as well. I can't figure out how old she's supposed to be in the show at this time, but she definitely looks young. Looking up Freya Allen's actual age, she says that she is 18, and I would guess in the show during this episode, Ciri is anywhere from 12 to 14 years old maybe. If you read the books and actually know, feel free to correct me. My guess is that she will grow up a little in the show and then be able to act more like her own actual age, which of course is still young, but she did a great job as young Ciri, and I can say that I am happy that she was chosen. I definitely look forward to seeing more of Ciri in the show, and of course the end leaves you with a little cliffhanger with her. Now there was also some decent humor in this episode, and it was done in a way that I thought was really good. Humor was not overused, but the small amounts that we got, such as Geralt dropping the F-bomb at the end of the episode before he fights the men in the streets, or even when he tells the deer in the beginning that it's not the deer's day today, it's enough to make you laugh, but not overused too much to where you forget about the dark times and world that Geralt is in. The overall mood and feel from the show is a little dark and gloomy. In the black and white introduction scene kind of set that mood right away. When Geralt enters the wizard's place, I forgot his name, it started with an S, the colors become bright inside the illusion that the wizard has created. This tells me that I can expect later in the show to also be exposed to some amazing looking brighter scenes that are color vibrant. It's cool to have this contrast in the show, it gets your emotions running. I think the creators of this show did a great job in setting the overall mood and feel. So yeah, overall guys, I'm hooked. If the second half of the show was not as intense as it was and did not have the cliffhangers that it did, I probably would be a little less hyped, but after watching the entire episode, I understand why everything was done the way it was. I'm going to give this episode a 9 out of 10 to start the series, but I have a feeling that by the end, that might be possibly turning into a 10 out of 10. I'm serious, man. The way they ended this episode was just perfect, and I'm ready for my next Geralt fight scene. Well, guys, this story ends the way you probably thought it did. My boy Gary deflected my dagger strike, then cast the yard sign, knocking me back into the rocks. So, lesson learned, guys. Don't go to the same bar as Henry Cavill when you got your girlfriend with you. But if you guys enjoyed the video, please like, comment, and subscribe. I really appreciate it. I have all sorts of videos on this channel, ranging from comedy videos to game reviews to tutorials. I also do live streams, and I hope to see you guys again in the future. Now I gotta do it, I'm a warrior, yeah, I'm coming with the truth So shit, yeah, that's how we march Back in the game and I kill it with the bars Everybody really wanna get a piece now